Asante DJ, Asante DJ. Karibu. Every time I come to Machakos, I can't fail. Every time I come to Machakos, I can't fail to marvel at the beauty of Machakos. For those who are coming to Machakos for the first time, just look around. Machakos is situated, is surrounded by hills. Just look around. Sometimes I wonder whether the Garden of Eden was in Machakos. Maybe Machakos was modeled under the Garden of Eden. It's a beautiful place. And to keep it beautiful as it is, you need good leadership to maintain it or to add value to what you already have. And on that note, I can't fail to appreciate the work of my former student, Wavinya Deti. Wahenga walisema siku siku nzuri inaonekana saa ngapi alfajiri isi ndio I noticed Wavinya Deti from very early time and I'm not surprised that she's doing what she's doing but I know she can even do more and I expect more people of Machakos Now I must come to what brought me here. Your Excellency, the Governor of Machakos, Excellency, all the governors who are here present, His Excellency, <laughs> when I, <laughs> our good friend, when I Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, <laughs> leaders from Machakos, fellow members of the G7 Adversary Council, esteemed leaders of Council of Governors, le development partners, partners from private sectors, ladies and gentlemen, Hamujambo. I'm very pleased to be here today to unveil the G7 Adversary Council. This is a significant milestone in collective journey towards gender equality and the empowerment of women in leadership across Kenya. The Council of Governors has taken bold and adversary step in launching the G7 strategy, focusing on the empowerment of women and ensuring their active participation in leadership, particularly in our seven women-led counties. The strategy is, just to, is not just policy document. It is a blueprint for the transformative and change that it will bring to generations to come. This move has definitely been caused by women leaders reshaping the future by bringing in unique perspective, innovative approach and transformative leadership styles to their position 
It has also gone unnoticed that Kenya text for women leadership has gone a notch higher. Today is beginning of a journey. And as it has begun this journey together, we want first to thank all the seven women governors who have showed selfless leadership by showing willingness and holding the hands of other women and also the younger women to come. Of utmost importance is to ensure that we refrain from increasing, we retain and increase the number of women in positions of leadership. As we talk about increasing the number, it is not just increasing the number alone, but it's about building new narrative that is being replicated globally in countries like South Africa, Rwanda, Senegal, Namibia, Mozambique, Ethiopia, and many others. They have over 40% representative in leadership. Kenya, we cannot fail to be left behind. If those countries that I've just mentioned have 40% women in leadership, why not us? I think it's a high time we stop talking about a third. We must raise the notch a little bit higher because a third, really, when the population of women in this country are 52% and men are 48%. Surely we can raise that notch a little bit higher. We will endeavor not to reinvent the wheel. I will recognize the many institutions that have worked tirelessly before us in pursuit of those exact goals over the last three decades. I'm happy to note that Adversary Board is composed of some of the pioneer women who have worked hard to, gen to endanger, engender what is happening in this country. You have been comrades in the struggle and we are now having a position that will have to work with this other coming. But we also recognize that the life and gender issue does not end with us. We recognize the new young people who are coming up. We want to, you, the young women, and of course the young men, the older called the Gen Zs, to follow the footsteps and even bring this country a notch higher than where we are. Ladies and gentlemen, we will endeavor not to reinvent the wheel, but to build on what has already been done. In the end, we expect very clear outputs from efforts that are being made. The first one, number one, gender sensitive and inform other voters, both men and women, in the electoral process. Secondly, fully cap capacitate women candidates for effective participation in electoral politics through well-targeted and focused skills transferring training. Thirdly, engender political parties so that political party structures should have more women in their leadership. And fourth, gender sensitive media that is responsible for women candidates through media training and facilitating creation of forming networking between media and candidates. I'll not fail to mention that we cannot do this alone. 
The success of G7 strategy is the work of the Council will depend on our ability to build strong network and part partnership. We must work closely with our country governments, the private sectors, civil society, international partners to amplify our impact. This partnership will be crucial in creating opportunities, providing resources, sharing best practices that can be replicated across the country. We must also recognize the invaluable role that men play as our allies in this journey. We can't leave them behind. True, gender equality is, cannot only be achieved when men and women work together, hand in hand, to break down the walls of discrimination and other inequality. Today, I call upon all our leaders, partners, citizens to continue the work that has been started. Let us remain committed to the principles of G7, whose clarion call is G7 to G24. I'll repeat that. Our clarion call is from G7 to G24. Let us support and uplift the women in our communities who have the potential to lead. Let us work together to create Kenya that is truly inclusive and equitable. Before I conclude, I know there are other sectors that are working hard to bring this equality. In our journey, we should not just look at the political area alone. We should not just look at the G7 alone. But we know that we must start from the grassroots. And this starts from MCAs. I know many counties we have we, fewer MCAs were elected as leaders, and that's why we fill it up by nomination. But let's start from the MCAs. We must make sure that we also include MCAs in their struggle. We need more women MPs, and this is mainly because there are certain things that only women can articulate. In closing, I want to express my deepest gratitude to the Council of Governors for the leadership and championing the strategy and for the trust they have placed in us, we members of the G7 Adversary Council. To my fellow council members, I look forward in working with you as we embark on this critical mission. Together, we can and will make a difference. Together, we will ensure that the future of Kenya is one and where every woman, every girl, and every house the opportunity to lead. As I conclude, there's one section that I must mention, and that's the leadership of religious leaders. Thank you very much. I've seen a host of religious leaders. I've seen my bishops and good friends here. Please pray for us. Pray for the G7. Pray for what we intend to do. Because we know with your prayers, we'll get there. I know there's been a bit of a problem, but I'm sure we'll get with your prayers if you stand by us, because we are also members of this community. We are also members of this society. And with these few remarks, I'm very happy to be here today. I think I'll come again. I've seen a lot of things that uh, 
um, governor Wavinya Ndeti has done. When I look around, I can see tanks, water tanks. I can see uh, cylinders. By the way, I make cylinders. That is my work. So, <laughs> you may think that they come from far. I do that work here in Nairobi. That's my work. I can see generators. Car wash machines. Car wash machines. I can see tents. I can see seats. I can see masufrias. Wow. All these are for women. Thank you for having women at heart. And other people, thank you very much. Let's, come, let's support her. Let's encourage her. And sky is the limit. Thank you and may God bless you. Asante sana, asante sana. Tupigia mama makofi.